Hey guys, how's it going? Getting ready to do another run here on the Night Hall. This is always a fun and interesting place to be running. Let's go ahead and get started here today. I do believe that I may have my bosses slightly mixed up. Because I definitely don't remember running this way, but... <laughs> Alright, let's get some of this trash killed here. Remember, small pools guys running this place or you will wipe. Um, we are got this is a big pool right here, so we are going to be going right on up through here. I do believe I do know where I'm going. This is one of my favorite bosses actually to actually get up here and tank and pull. You just got to be relatively careful about when you do fight and tank this guy. Always a lot of trash in here, so go for this place as you want to just get in here, go ahead and start pulling a lot of this trash, clean up the stuff. The boss is over there, so you just got to be careful. Ah, son of a bitch. Looks like the boss got pulled. Which the boss, this is why you pull outside here. I'm trying to do a big pull here, but the boss needs to be pulled out, but you got a lot of trash and stuff here, so. Alright, there we go. Let's get some of this trash burned down, shall we? A lot of people ran in there and we pulled a lot more trash than what I thought we would pull, so. A little intense, uh, definitely hard on our healers here, but uh, definitely doable. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll move on inside here, get some of this trash on out of the way here. Just takes a couple minutes to clear all this trash, and since we got some good DPS here, this ain't gonna take much time at all. I do think we did have, get most of this, so I think we're good here. We got one, two pieces of trash over here to pull. Let's go ahead and get this stuff and this guy, and we'll be ready for the boss. Now, the way you fight this guy is you gotta take cover when the time comes, and you can either pull him up here to the front. A lot of groups will just pull him here. That way, when the ads spawn, you do it, but. Um, you're supposed to pull them away from the bloods and stuff like that, but no one ever does this fight right. It seems like every time I come here, people just want to do it the cheap way. Uh, so it's relatively annoying and stuff like that. So. Five, four, three, two, one. But yeah, I actually like fighting this guy. This guy's um, he's fun to tank. He really is. But there's a lot going on, and if you get a tank here that doesn't really uh, taunt with you, or you, they decide not to do the regular mechanics, it's just you know, it's boring and really wrecks the fight. See, the blood, see, I should run away now, and you, you pull up here, is so what you do when you get these bloods on you, and you kill the bloods. DPS kills on them because it separates it from the boss, and that's how you're supposed to do it, while the other tank taunts and fights. But it looks like what, because we are doing so much damage here, we are just going to burn this boss down now. When ads come in, we'll just move to the opposite end of the actual boss. Um, but we'll move the boss to the opposite side of the room because that's just going to be more convenient for us. And it's actually going to work a lot better than uh, doing it this way. Now everyone needs to take cover behind them green piers there. I'm just going to stay right here because I really don't care. And we are doing relatively well. I'm um, not sure when the ads are going to start pulling in the room, but when they do, we'll just move the boss across the room. Uh, so. yeah, we still got bloods coming at us right now. So. This is the one thing about the fight I don't really enjoy is when he does uh, go into this invisible state. And what you want to do is you just want to stay out of the lines uh, and you got to kill the bats and all that kind of stuff. So. But it's kind of a med fight thing that does happen. But we still ain't got to that stage yet. I think the boss is going to go down before he does do that. So. Alright, so this boss is down. Uh, We'll just pass on the loot, we'll go ahead and grab this, and we'll go ahead and advance out of here. Alright, so we'll just come out here, we'll just jump down real quick. And we are going to be going down to the waterfront at this moment in time. So we'll head this away, and then we will be turning.
can actually mount up right here so we'll just get mounted up real quick this will speed things up just a little bit these guys all mounted up and stuff got a little bit ahead of me but yeah I forgot you can actually mount up here it does save a lot of time mounting in this place so now let's just go ahead and try to get get stuck on these flower pots so we'll go ahead and start clearing all this stuff we do need to clear this trash up here too get some pulls here let's clear out of this trash get through this place Looks like these other tanks and people, everyone's going to be up here dicking around on this trash. I get some of this stuff. I'm trying to stack all this stuff here, and uh, you know, when you get two tanks and one tank wants to tot all everything and doesn't want to pull it, then that slows you down a lot. And he's dropping really hard because he can't handle the heat. So, all this should have been one mega, mega pull, but I don't really care. I'm going to do it, however. See, he's got all the trash over there because he's pulling it to him. He's not pulling it to me. He needs to be stacking with me. Now he is. There he is. He's coming over here. I guess that stuff ain't really aggro enough. People in the raid are hitting it and it's, yeah, it's running off of them. Okay, we'll go ahead and run on down here. Remember, small pulls, guys. Uh, we are a little over geared here, so I don't want you guys to kill yourself. So, But some of the stuff like this right here, you can just do double pulls on these groups like this here. It's not too bad. Now this next boss is, um, it's always fun to play him, um, I ain't tanked him in a while, I actually love tanking him, he's really fun, but if you don't kill him fast enough, you wipe, but what he does is he raises his hands up and he slams it onto the bridge and he breaks the bridge away, and in order for the tank to tank it, what the tank's job is, is you have to absorb the impact or it takes raid wide damage, so you have to stand under his hands, um, and that's the right way to do this. And he'll shoot a beam, so every, the whole raid needs to shift sides and go to the opposite side. So that's always something that I keep in mind and that you guys want to do as well. And when it moves to the back, it's just a little bit more difficult. But you know, pretty simple, you just run back whenever he breaks the bridge. And if you have an add-on like Diddly Boss mod, stuff like that, it does uh, makes things go a lot easier, especially. We'll go ahead and get a ready check here. These adds small pulls here. I um, want to pull them about two, three groups, but it goes you know, relatively good. Uh, I had do a pull. What the hell? They then fucking pulled him, really? Dumb son of a bitch is really. got too close and had to pull so main thing is just watch those beams there and the best thing to do is really coordinate with your tanks that way one tank stays on one side one tank stays on the other there I gotta get right underneath here get a cool down want to soak that that guy he stood right under that and took a hell of a hit because he was dumb you don't stand under the hands that's like one of your like no-nos <laughs> that guy did it there He's, he shouldn't have done that it's a good way to kill yourself if you're not careful. I just got to shift over to this side here. You want to get that beam. All right, we'll move over here. I got five stacks on me. So the other tank should tank off. Oh, I got to get on this under here. Get the cooldown. Bam. All right, didn't take hardly no damage on that. Uh, about three hits, and I think he breaks the bridge. So... Let's keep on that. I'm gonna do another beam there. Just gotta keep an eye on that. He has not broken the bridge. Right, so now we want to run back. Those guys are gonna die right there because they don't know to get back. 
Just like I said, he died. He thought he could fly back and stuff, and no, it don't work like that, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's like, oh, my bad. <laughs> And the boss is dead and just run back here to the back and we'll grab this chest and the next stage of what you want to do is you'll just talk uh, right here and he'll fly you up to the top so we'll hit ready and we'll pass on the roll I don't want to roll on this stuff it's a little bit under my gear level I could probably go to Argaris or somewhere like that a little bit higher up and it would be um, a lot faster and now what we'll do here is we're just gonna go ahead and mount on up So up the stairs we go. <laughs> Alright. I don't know why that guy's going that way. I don't think you go that way. I'm pretty sure we go up. Um, unless I've lost track of where we're going. Um, actually, I think there's a ball in that room there you can actually take. I always come up this way. This is the way I've always done it. Just different ways, I guess. Um, mm. Everybody has their own way of doing things. That's why I always clear that trash there because of that main room. So Now these guys here, what you have to do is you actually have to separate them. And one tank needs to take one, the other one needs to take the other. And you have to pull these things apart, which the other tank is not doing that. So you got to get these guys apart here. That way you can actually kill them down here. All right, there we go. So just separating these guys, actually, um, that's how you kill them. So... As long as these guys are separated, you're in good shape. All right. As soon as we get him down, we'll run back inside and we'll go to the next one. Okay. Let's get in there and go to the next one. Now this boss here, I've never really liked her. She, I just found her to be a pain, more or less. Let's go ahead and finish off this trash over here and get this all done and taken care of. Alright, this is going to go pretty good. Now, as far as how you fight this boss, is uh, there's two ads that spawn. One slows you down, one speeds you um, up. You jump in one and you run through the other, and it will slow the orbs down and you run through them. Your desperate attempt to stop the Legion. My people faced a similar dilemma. I peered into all possible futures in search of an answer. And found only one. The Legion's victory is inevitable. Everyone's, Everyone's on like the freaking back side, wrong side of the freaking room if you have noticed. Taking the night well by force and left us bereft of it. I could not allow my people to starve, to waste away without its energy sustaining us. I swear when she spawns, she comes right here, but I guess we're going to pull her around back unless she pop up on the now backside. It doesn't really make no sense why everyone's in the back. But, but no, well, we'll see how that goes. Must be preserved. I will do everything in my power to make it so. But there's basically three waves with this boss. Your deaths ensure the future of the Nightborn. Come forward, then. Let us speed you I wish they would shut up, you know what I mean? Your timelines end here. I guess it don't matter what side you're on. Go ahead and burn her down. Those rings hurt, that, that'll kill you right there if you don't have that ad down. You have to take down that ad. That would have just killed us all right there with them rings coming in. You'd have to get these ads down. Typically you want to take the pink and the blue ad down side by side. That way the bubbles are barely within range of each other, but not on both of them. So. But that would have been a wipe right there, because we would have died if this was any harder. So like right here, here's what you want to do. You want to, ah man, she switched in phases. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But you run into the bubble and it will slow down those ones coming in. And then you shift to the outside. So that's how you do it. Right, let's see where she is. She's going to be right here. We'll pour straight over here to this ad. We want to get that ad killed real quick. 
That has got to go down first. It's dull. You take the ad out. No one's going for the ad. Everyone's just piled on the balls because they don't care about the mechanics. And that's not how you do this fight. I like to demonstrate this stuff for noobs, especially guys who aren't used to these fights. So I like to do the mechanics the right way. Um, that way people know like how to do it. Because <coughs> what happens is people do this stuff on normal and then they go to heroic and then they wipe because they're like, oh, well, we don't do that in normal. Well, yeah, it's... Yeah, it don't have the same effects. These orbs here, you want to actually stand underneath these things here and soak them up. Um, those are going to cause a lot of damage because no one's soaking them in the back right back there. See that? Boom. You're supposed to soak that stuff. That's something that you want to be doing. So. Now, this is actually a, a hard boss to fight. Um, on this level, uh, it's Beware. really, really easy. It's like she ain't even doing nothing to us. Um, the boss should be pulling right over here straight to this ad because the ad needs to go down. No one's trying to get this ad down right here. Priority needs to always be take the ads down as soon as they spawn. Keep on burning her down here a little bit, and then we'll have her down in just a second. It won't be that long until she's dead. Go ahead and push this a little bit harder, and we'll have her in just a second. All right, we can interrupt that. And she is down, and that is this round for the Nighthawk. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, peace out, YouTube.